Today, I'm going to review local noon time. Two things that we need when it comes to local noon time is the sunrise and sunset. So the sunrise in this case is going to be 5.15 a.m. And the sunset in this case is going to be 6.30 p.m. So that's step one, we need the sunrise and the sunset. Step two, we need to take the sunrise and see how much time do we have in between sunrise and noon. So we take 5.15 and we try to find out the time span, but instead of doing it in 12 o'clock, we do 11.60. And the reason why we had why we completed in 1160 is because we have 11 hours and we also have 60 minutes, which is the same as saying 1160. So we're going to take the 1160 and subtract it from 515 because we need to find the time span in between those two. And that answer would be 1160 minus 515, which will give us six hours and 45 minutes. So that time span between sunrise and noon will be six hours and 45 minutes. Step three, we need to find out the time span in between noon and sunset. In this case, it's 630. And I tell the kids that this answer for number three is always going to be what it says for sunset. So if sunset is 6.30, they just write 6.30 and circle it. The reason why I have them circle it so they can keep up with all of their steps. So circle step two. So this is step two and step three. Step four, when they complete step four, what they need to do is they need to combine step two and step three. So step two, Add it to step three, which will equal 645, six hours and 45 minutes, plus six hours and 30 minutes, which will give us 1275. But since no one walks around and says 1275, not even in military time, they convert it. And the way that they convert it is that they would deduct 60 minutes right here. But when I deduct 60 minutes, where is that 60 minutes going? 60 minutes is equivalent to an hour. So we're gonna put that 60 minutes in an hour place. So in this um, portion, we're going to have thir 13 hours and 15 minutes because remember you're subtracting this right here. So that's step four. Now we get to step five. Step five is you're going to take your sum of step four, which is 13, 15, and you're going to divide it by two. And the reason why you're dividing it by two is because you're trying to find the half portion in between sunrise and sunset. So you're going to take that 13, 15 and divide it by two. And the answer for that is going to give you six hours and 50, six hours and 57 minutes. So that's the time span in the, the, in the center. Now we're going to take step five, which our step five is located right here. We're gonna take step five, and then we're gonna add it to sunrise. So in step six, we're gonna take step five and add to sunrise. So that's 657 plus 515, which is going to give you 12, carry to 1, 5, 6, 7, 1172. Okay, so 1172 again is not a real time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take as many minutes away as we can. In this case, we're going to take 60 minutes away. And if we take 60 minutes away, 
we have to put those minutes somewhere. We just can't say, I don't want to deal with the minutes anymore. So we put that 60 minutes. It makes one whole hour. So now instead of 1172, we're going to have the answer as 1212. And the final answer for the local noon time in that specific area where the sun would be at the highest position would be 1212. And that should be your answer.